Yes, this is Pondicherry. Who would have thought? Definitely not me. Hi, I'm Raksha and welcome to my channel. In a quest to explore more of the ocean closer to home, my friend and I, who is also Raksha by the way, decided to find out what it's like scuba diving in one of the popular diving places in mainland India. Unfortunately, poor visibility followed us for most of our dives in Pondicherry like a creepy stalker. But the diversity of marine life here was quite surprising to me. So in this video, let me introduce you to some of the Pondicherry's incredible marine creatures and what can you expect if you are diving here for the first time. First thing you need to know about diving here is the artificial reefs. They are an incredible initiative and something I really liked about diving here. So, due to overfishing, the coastal belt of Pondicherry witnessed a decline in marine life. The fishermen and the dive centers came together many years ago to build artificial reefs. Essentially, a new ecosystem for marine life with completely recycled materials such as concrete blocks and palm leaves, trees and rocks. Now, these structures attract schools of silver moonies, banner fishers and so many other fishes. Truly a sight to behold. Just to give you a background, I did 5 dives with Samudra Adventures in Pondicherry. First dive was Arvind's Wall. It's deemed to be the best dive site in Pondicherry and the full video is linked above. Let's move on to the next dive site. Saw a bunch of massive groupers here. Probably the biggest I've seen so far. <laughs> no surprise. This dive site is called Grouper's Den. I'll share a video here of a massive grouper from another dive in Pondicherry just to give you an idea since I don't have one from this dive. Tell me, does the grouper look more like a bulldog or a grumpy old granddad? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Also chanced upon one of the fastest fish and master predators of the sea, great barracudas that feed on groupers for breakfast. It looks like a needle here, but adult barracudas can grow up to 10 feet long and weigh up to 45 kgs. The long and thin body of the barracuda is designed for speed and their top speed has been estimated at 58 kilometers per hour. Also spotted a moray eel in Grouper's Den. This is what it looks like. I guess sex change in fishes doesn't involve the emotional trauma or the society exclusion that humans go through. I mean, how else would you explain that moray eels change sex at some point in their lives? Oh, spotted a cute but literally toxic puffer fish. In Mariana's reef, I saw one hermit crab pouncing on another. It happened so quickly, I don't have a picture of it. So sharing some stock photos here. Apparently, hermit crabs go through a rite of passage. If it gets sick of its shell or outgrows its shell, hermit crabs move out. And sometimes it fights with another, called shell fights, in order to move to a bigger housing. And underwater flowers that are actually animals. Sea anemones. They had what I was told, octopus eggs beneath them. I wasn't prepared to what I was about to see in Danny's eel garden. It gave me the creeps for some reason. Let me paint a picture. A fish that looks like a snake but isn't actually a snake. This is a garden eel. Now imagine tons of garden eels popping out and retracting to its hole in unison. Quite hair raising, isn't it? Look at that. It's a huge starfish. We also ended up diving in an unnamed dive site for our fifth dive and that's something I loved about Samudra Adventures. They are willing to go beyond the obvious dive sites and as a fun diver, it brought out a sense of exploration for me and I absolutely loved it. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced diver, I would highly recommend diving with Samudra Adventures. They took care of us really well, they're a fun bunch and you're bound to have a memorable experience with them. These are the current prices for diving with Samudra Adventures. 
we dived in pondicherry during the end of may and the visibility was really bad when we were here but it isn't always the case and it's quite hard to predict however january to april is the best time to dive here so which dive site or marine animal you found interesting let me know in the comments below And don't forget to smack that like button and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more underwater videos like these.